Hi, this is opening night for the San Diego International Jewish Film Festival, and I am here with Brian Garrick, who is the Director of Cultural Arts here. So, Brian, this year you guys have added international to the title of your festival. You've always had an international flavor, so what's uh, the addition of that for? Uh, thank you, Beth. Um, th that's right, we added international this year, and part of the reason is uh, so it can more accurately reflect um, the diversity of Jewish films, Jewish experience. Um, we have films from throughout the world. This year we have films from 18 different countries. Um, and as you know, wherever Jews are in the world, um, there's a Jewish story and a Jewish film to be made. So thus the international. But the festival hasn't changed its mission in any way. So you use the film festival to kind of uh, have this cultural exchange. Yeah, that's absolutely right, to showcase the variety of Jewish experience, Jewish history, uh, Jewish art um, from throughout the world. The, that core mission remains. And one of the films that's a highlight this year is your centerpiece film, so explain what that's about. Uh, the centerpiece is the film in the middle of the festival, and it's a fantastic film by uh, acclaimed director Roberta Grossman uh, called Who Will Write Our History. And the film is about a very unique and, and little told story about a group called Oneg Shabbos, which in the Warsaw ghetto during the Holocaust saw what was happening around them in the ghetto. And Emanuel Ringelblum, who was a historian who was living in the ghetto together with this group called Oneg Shabbos, buried three cans of material that were essentially time capsules documenting what was going on and the horrors around them. Two were found after the war and one has never been found. So literally this archive, the Ringelblum archive, of, which it's known as now, um, is the story of that's being told in this amazing film. Literally a story of history lost and found buried and then retrieved. One of the great things about the San Diego International Jewish Film Festival is they give a context for their films. And for tonight's film called It Must Be Schwing, The Blue Note Story, we have Mark Cantor, who is a jazz archivist. Now, Mark, this is called, subtitled The Blue Note Story, but is that all we get in this movie? Well, actually, only in part. The, the Blue Note jazz label was one of the most influential from the 1940s on. But this is also the story of two very dear friends who emigrated to New York City from uh, Germany right before the Holocaust. It's a story of their friendship, but also their shared passion for American jazz and how they parlayed this passion into the preservation of the music through recordings. And what about this documentary do you like? Oh, I think I like the fact that it balances the history of the uh, label with lots of examples of the music, but personalizes it by showing how the relationship between these two men really made, uh, made their passion and their dream a reality with the label. And you're going to be hanging around after the film to also do a Q&A? Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so this is the beginning of the San Diego International Jewish Film Festival. It is going to be taking place at multiple venues through February 17th. So come down and check out shorts, documentaries, and feature films.